Hi, my name is Dr. Ranj Singh and I'm an NHS doctor and a media medic. I'm going to take you through a series of common medical questions that people often ask me. In this video we're going to talk about how to treat burns. Now burns can happen for a number of reasons, uh, for example contact with a hot source, electrical burns, chemical burns, radiation such as sunburn and finally friction. Burns can range from mild, requiring very little treatment, to quite severe, which always requires hospitalisation. It's important to act quickly and appropriately to try and limit any damage, and this video is to help you through some of those things. First and foremost, stop the burning process if you can remove the heat source. Secondly, if possible, try to remove any clothing or jewellery that may be near the burn but only if it's not stuck to the skin. Number three, cool the burn with either cool or lukewarm water. Do not use ice, ice water or ice packs. Try to do this for between 10 to 30 minutes for an adult, but in small children, try not to do it for long periods of time and make sure that you do not end up cooling the whole body. Make sure you don't use ice, creams, greasy ointments or butter on burns because they are not helpful. Number four, covering the burn with a thin layer of cling film actually helps to one, protect it, and two, limit some of the pain. And finally, simple painkillers such as paracetamol or ibuprofen can be taken at home to help with some of the pain. Fortunately, superficial or minor burns do not require a great deal of treatment and do not require a visit to the hospital. However, there are some instances where you should seek medical help. For example, if a burn is large or deep, if it involves the face or the neck or the upper body or the limbs, if it happens in a small child or any child under the age of 16 or anyone over the age of 65 or in someone who is pregnant, if it looks like the burn is getting infected, make sure you see somebody. If you are otherwise unwell or there are other injuries that might need medical attention, or if there's any chance that you may have inhaled smoke, again, please seek urgent medical advice. And that is how to manage a burn.